Hello everyone, this is session 7 of Horus Material 101 via MATLAB. I'm Arash and today we're going to talk about segmentation of Horus Material images. So in the previous sessions, we have talked about different types of structures and how to generate them. So in order to do a recap, I'm going to generate some of those previously developed structures and then use them for this segmentation example. So for example, let's talk about random, random Gaussian structures, which we have developed before. So if I say, for example, A is equal to around goes with default input parameters, and then show me A, it will give us this sort of structure as you can see here and then I'm going to expand this to other sort of structures for example overlapping spheres and also non-overlapping spheres which we have developed in the previous session and I have converted it into a function which we have here okay so let's run all of them together to see these three different structures so here we have non-overlapping spheres overlapping spheres and random Gaussian structure okay so we probably want to use this one this overlapping structure to do a segmentation job okay so I'm going to take out this part of the code and right now we have this overlapping spheres to do a segmentation job when we say segmentation it means to divide this structure into its very smaller elements and it shows us different pore spaces or if we look at the solid space it, it can give us different grains and it works mainly based on the path base and cut the large geometry through the narrowest path base between two different elements so if two pores are connected to each other through a small pathway it will cut those pores into two separated elements exactly at the narrowest point between these two elements. So right now I'm going to use watershed segmentation algorithm to do this segmentation job for you. And in order to do that, first of all, we need to calculate the Euclidean distance transform of the inverse matrix of this a array okay so i will say b is equal to bw dist of 1 minus a okay and then this calculates the distance transform if i wanted to show this process to you i can simply self b and show it to you okay it's something like this and then i will smooth out this structure using 3d gaussian filter so that b is equal to in gauss filter tree and then b with the standard deviation of two okay so if i visualize it again it's exactly the same thing but this time is much more smooth it's because we do this to avoid over segmentation and you know ignore those local maximal which are too close to each other so the next step is pretty much simple we define an, define a matrix L it's the labeled array of our pore spaces and we say that it's equal to the watershed
of the minus b. So this b is our space, uh, distance space, and when we put minus before it, it means that start from the center of these spaces and flood the whole geometry until you find the reach points inside the watershed segmentation algorithm, which I'm not going to explain it completely here, but I will put some references in the description so you can go and find how does this watershed segmentation actually works. Okay, so I say L is equal to watershed of minus B, and then um, we can actually say that, yeah, let's, let's visualize it at this moment, okay? So this is B, and if we wanted to see L, it's something like this, okay? So it shows that these are the ridge lines, and it shows that the pore spaces should be cut out based on these ridge lines. So right now, inside this L array, we have both solid and pore space together, but if we wanted to focus only, for example, on the solid space, we need to take out the pore space from this L array by multiplying it by the original array. So uh, if I do this, double L, product by um, double A, and if we say L is equal to this statement and yeah, if you visualize it again, you can see that here we have different grains and different solid parts separated from each other with different colors. Okay, yeah, and then if we wanted to see what's the size distribution of these different elements, we can use region props command inside MATLAB. It's doing something like this. If you run it region props and then this label at array, it will give you a structure with different sort of features. For example, area, centroid of each of these different elements inside the label at image and also the bounding box. and many different types of variables we can ask from this region props, okay? So right now, if we wanted to calculate the equivalent radius of these overlapping spheres, we can assume that there are some sort of spheres and then calculate the equivalent radius based on the formula for the sphere volume, which is here, okay? Uh, after doing that, we can simply uh, plot a histogram to see how is the distribution of this equivalent radius using the hist function, and then I put the x and y labels inside the plot. So right now, here we have different, you know, grain spaces separated from each other, and here we have the distribution of the sizes of the radius of these different elements. Okay, so if, for example, we wanted to do the same thing but on the pore space, it's pretty much simple. The only thing we need to do is to inverse this A array in the input section. And if we say that A is equal to 1 minus A, This would be the result. Okay, so here we have segmentation of our pore space, as you can see here with different colors, which are actually different labels. As you can see here, we have almost about we have almost about 160 different pores inside this structure, and this is the size distribution of them in terms of radius voxels. 
as you can see here thank you very much everybody this was almost today's session to know how to segment these sort of structures and uh, find out what's the size distribution of different elements inside these images thank you very much everybody and see you in the next session bye